Hi, my name is Moritz Fortman. I'm the product manager for Magic Bullet here at Maxon. I'm excited to give you a quick overview of what's new in Magic Bullet Suite 14. Magic Bullet is a full-blown finishing suite, including color correction, powerful tools to design a look, film emulation, noise reduction, and more. This brand new release is all about color correction. Our flagship tools, Colorista, and Magic Bullet looks have gone through major overhauls. Let's jump right in. I'm here in Premiere using the beautiful Colorista panel. No need to apply the effect. As soon as I touch any of the controls, I'm good to go. I love having all my tools here right at my fingertips. And the Colorista panel just fits in seamlessly with my host app. For those familiar with Colorista, you already know the awesome guided color correction, taking you through the fundamental steps of color correction in a fun and intuitive way. Dial in your black levels, white levels, midtones, and contrast. Dial in your saturation. Last but not least, get your color balance right by grabbing onto the scope or use the sliders. At this point, you can refine your look. All the values you just dialed in are live, so you can still tweak them and adjust them and get them perfect. Once you're done dialing in your look, you can add it to the brand new preset browser. Go in and name your look, create a new folder. The preset browser makes it easy to stay on top of your grades. It already comes loaded with a bunch of useful presets, but of course you can add any number of presets to your library. Search presets by name, import presets from other colorists or some you may have stored or from a different project. And over time you'll be generating this awesome library of looks that becomes part of your visual language. Generally speaking, presets are the bread and butter of color correction. They're really helpful to make your project more consistent and are a huge time saver. A lot has happened under the hood of Colorista 5. Colorista has always been capable of handling HDR, but as HDR is becoming increasingly important, we've added new capabilities for even more control and better results. Highlight and shadow regions give you more localized control, making it easy to bring back details in the sky, for instance, while highlight boost helps you give your SDR image that crisp edge when grading for HDR. As an existing Colorista user, you're already familiar with our HSL tool. Similar to curves, but with fewer clicks, this tool makes it easy to shift the hue, saturation or luminance of your image. Colorista 5 introduces a new powerful addition Saturation EQ. Desaturating your shadows to clean up your image or desaturating your highlights is a common technique used in color correction, often achieved with curves. Saturation EQ provides the power of curves with just a few mouse clicks adjusting these boombox EQ style sliders. Saturation by saturation allows you to adjust saturation in a more localized way and add more vibrance to areas that need it. Colorista 5 comes with a brand new LUT browser, making it easy to import any number of LUTs and make them part of your everyday workflow. See how easy it is to import new LUTs. This new LUT browser really adds pro LUT capabilities to your NLE, and it's just a lot of fun to use. Additionally, you can now generate your own LUTs with Colorista 5. You can create your own looks from scratch or combine a LUT with your own grade and export that as a LUT. This is perfect if you want to modify a LUT or export your color correction as a LUT to load it on a different system or share with someone or load it into a camera or display for pre-visualization on set. Here's the new LUT we just generated and again we can apply it and modify it to make it more suitable for this shot. Looks in Colorista now share the same LUT location, so as soon as you generate a new LUT, it becomes available in Looks. Let's check out what's new in Looks 5. I'm here in Resolve and I've done my base grade, and now I want to design a look that supports the story and captures the right mood. Looks 5 ships with over 300 Looks presets 
making it easy to explore and experiment with creative options for your project. We've introduced a brand new search tool to navigate through our ever-growing library of looks. We carefully indexed each look to make your discovery more intuitive. Type in moods or other descriptive terms to narrow down your selection and find that perfect look or starting point to develop your own look. There's no faster way to offer your client a bunch of options and narrow down the look that's needed for a shot or show. Existing users will notice the overall modernized UI. We've organized our tools in more descriptive categories, making it easy to find the right tool. Our tool chain is now flexible and tools can be added in any desired order. Looks 5 now ships with color handling, a straightforward yet powerful way to manage your colors. Choose from a variety of input color transforms, making sure your footage is interpreted correctly and choose any of these output transforms to make sure Lux integrates perfectly with your color workflow. The Colorista tool in Lux also received some of the cool new additions we've seen in the Colorista plugin, such as the new contrast slider and the saturation EQ control. The LUT tool now offers this beautiful browsing and previewing experience, bringing a pro LUT workflow to looks and your NLE. I love how I can import my entire LUT library and have them right here where I need them and get creative. And now let's talk about the three brand new tools, Unity, Channel Mixer and Color Remap. Unity makes it easy to simplify your color palette in just a few clicks. Select any color as your target color and expand or reduce the range of colors you want to unify. See how the sign boxes now are unified to match the target blue? And of course, I can apply as many instances of Unity as I need. In this case, I pick red as my target color to unify the other more pinkish and purpley looking colors. Disable the tool chip to see before and after. Check out how the tool chip takes on the target color, helping you to stay on top of which colors are being unified. Channel Mixer is fantastic to stylize your image in simple yet powerful ways. The gradients are super helpful to determine what's happening in each color channel. And it's just a lot of fun to experiment with Channel Mixer. Channel Mixer is also great to create compelling monochrome images. Just see how much control you have adjusting the red, green and blue channel. Color Remap is a one of a kind tool. Never has it been so easy to map one color to another. Let's add a new color pair, select this red and change it to a different color. Check out the cube and see just how much we're bending the color. You can imagine it as putting a pin in a 3D rubber sheet and pinning it to a different color. Let's add another color pair and select the cyany blue here on the side and manually change it to a different color. Pretty easy, right? Let's pick another color. You can see how by default it maps a color to the same color until you change it. Let's take a reference image, pretty abstract one, and pick a different color as our two color. This is really powerful. These reference images could be color palettes, could be a reference color for a product shot. Color remap can be used for technical tasks such as using a color checker, reverse engineering filters and LUTs, or get an accurate color profile of a film stock. The possibilities of color remap are endless, and I'm excited to see how filmmakers, editors, and colorists will be using it in the field. Last but not least, I'm happy to announce that Magic Bullet Looks is now compatible with the control surfaces by tangent, such as the element, wave, or ripple. You can now use tools like the Colorista tool, 4-way color, color remap, and other color tools within Looks with these awesome panels. I'm not able to show this here, but I'm currently using a wave 2, and it's just so much fun. That was the quick tour. I hope you enjoyed it. For a more in-depth look, 
make sure to check out the brand new tutorials by Stu Mashwitz. Thanks a lot for watching and looking forward to talk more in the Q&A.